Hi before watching this video Pony and Selwyn part 2 listen Pony and Selwyn part 1 movie story I have given link on description Pony and Selwyn part 2 also known and marketed as PS2 is a 2023 Indian Tamil language epic historical action adventure film directed by Mani Ratnam who co-wrote it with Elango Kumaravel and BJ Mohan the film is produced by Mani Ratnam and Subhaskaran Aliraja under Madras Talkies and Laika Productions. The second of two cinematic parts based on the 1954 novel Pony and Selwyn by Kalki Krishnamurti, it serves as a direct sequel to Pony and Selwyn, I, 2022. I have given link on description. Now coming to the storyline. A teenage Nandini and Adita Karikalan abatement in love. However, as Nandini is an orphaned commoner, Angel Kundavi and Sembian Mahadevi Ayu their adulation and Nandini is alone from the kingdom. She and her advanced ancestors biking to the Pandya Empire, area Nandini is taken in by Baron Virapandian and aloft as his daughter. In the present day, Arunmoshi Vaman, alias Pony and Selvan, is believed to be dead. Nandini conspires with the Pandya rebels, led by Ravidasan, to avenge Virapandian's annihilation at the easily of Karikalan. She manipulates Karikalan's acquaintance and subordinate, Partibendran, into conspiring to join him. The rebels chase for Arun Moji, who has been rescued from the sea by a Faisiak old woman who resembles Nandini, whom Arun Moji refers to as Umi Rani, mute queen. However, he has a back collapsed actively ill. His allies administer to spirit Arun Moji abroad to be healed by Buddhist monks, but Vantiyativan is captured by the rebels. Meanwhile, Madhurantakan has proclaimed himself as the abutting baron with the abutment of Shivan Adyas and forms a abstruse accord with the Rashtrakuta king. Nandini and the rebels artifice to annihilate Adita Karikalan and Sundara Chola on the aforementioned night, and are overheard by the bound Vantiyathivan. Nandini announces that both Vantiyathivan and Karikalan will die at her hands, and that she has arrived Karikalan to Kadambur. Vantiyathivan tells her about Umi Rani who carefully resembles her. Realizing that Vantiyathivan has begun her mother, Nandini spares his life. Ashwakadyan Nambi disguises himself to access the rebels and saves Vantiyathivan, who reveals what he has heard to Arunmoji and Kundavi. At the Viharam, Arunmoji meets with his siblings, who are charmed at his survival, and tells them about Umi Rani. Kundavi and Arunmoji both appeal with Karikalan not to accommodate it with Nandini at Kadambur but he disregards their admonition and orders Vantiyathivan to not chase him. Kundavi, canonizing that her ancestor had been abashed aloft affair Nandini, confronts him about Umi Rani. He tells her about his aphasiac lover Mandakini, whom he had met as an adolescent man while actuality chased by the Pandyas. He had promised to acknowledgement for her afterwards his rescue, but aback he searches for her, he hears that she has drowned. Kundavi believes that Nandini may be her half-sister, but Sembian Mahadevi tells her that Mandakini gave bearing to, and abandoned, Nandini two years afterwards Sundara Chola aftermost saw her. Having learnt of Arunmoji's survival, the Pandyas artifice to assassinate him at the Viharam, but are thwarted. Meanwhile, both Arunmoji's allies and the Pandya assassins access the Thanje fort. Mandakini secretly follows the assassins and is credible by Poomjali. Shortly after, Priyavila, Vanathi's uncle, lays annoy to Thanjay over Arunmoji's credible death, advancing into action with Chinna Pajuvetaraya, the administrator of the fort. A abashed Madhurantakan secretly leaves Thanjay to booty ambush with the Rashtrakuta. Aloft all-encompassing Thanjay, Arunmoji forges a cord amid the two armies, with advice from Vanathi, and Poomshali warns Chinna Pajuvetaraya about the assassins. In Kada, MBUR, Karikalan agrees to alienate the accomplished commonwealth and affirm Madhurantakan as king, beneath the action that he is accustomed to accumulate his army to beat his own acreage to the north. While traveling to Thanjay to bear this news, Priya Pajuvetaraya hears about the cabal from the boatman Karuthiruman, who had assisted the Pandya rebels in Sri Lanka. Priya Pazhuve Triya rushes are back to Kadambur to save Karikalan. The Pandyas, accepting infiltrated both Kadambur and Thanjay, accompanying advanced Sundara Chola and his sons. In Thanjay, Mandakini is dead while extenuate of Sundara Chola, 
and Arun Mushi fights and kills the assassins. In Kadambur, Karikalan tells Nandini that he has appeared to die at her easily in the achievement that his afterlife will air conditioned her admiration for revenge. However, Nandini cannot accompany herself to annihilate him and the rebels blitz forward. Vanti Athivan, who has secretly followed Karikalan, is a gape out and Priya Pajuvetaraya is captured. Karikalan is dead in Nandini's accoutrements during the attempt and the rebels abandon with both Nandini and Priya Pajuvetaraya. Vanti Athivan, as the alone being actual at the arena of the murder, is imprisoned. Karuthi Ruman and Ravidasan acknowledge to Nandini that she is Veerapandian's babe by Mandakini, and that the Pandya rebels had followed her because of her cachet as angel of the Pandyas. They acquaint her that, afterwards Sundara Chola had abled the Pandyas, Virapandiyam, afterward his trail, had appeared beyond Mandakini and captured and assaulted her in his rage. Out of atheism and guilt, Nandini commits suicide in the Ponni River, abrogation abaft agenda for Priya Pajuvetaraya, whom she believes to accept being the alone being to appearance her accurate kindness. Priya Pajuvetaraya allotment to Thanjay in time to accommodate the accuracy of Karikalan's afterlife at Vantiyathevan's trial. However, Partibendran, assertive that Arunmoji ordered the killing, had already abutting armament with the kings of Rashtrakuta and Lanka to access the Chola Empire. Madhurantakan refuses to action adjoin his countrymen and abandon with Arun Moji, acceptable in the defeat of his above allies. Afterward this event, Sundara Chola decides to abandon in favor of his actual son. However, on the day of the coronation, Arun Moji cedes the head to Madhurantakan, who takes the name, Uttama Chola. It is adumbrated that Vantiyathivan and Kundavi will marry, as will Arun Moji and Vanathi. The coda reveals that Vantiyathivan and Arun Moji fabricated all-encompassing conquests in Lanka beneath Uttama Chola's rule, and Abak Uttama Chola died, Arun Moji affiliated the head as Rajaraja Chola the first, ushering in a Orient age of Chola rule. Thanks for watching like share and subscribe our channel, don't forget to press bell icon. Have a good day.